so mine is 11 floor and then it's got upgraded to a pretty nice bedroom um i guess a special kinks or something so let's go inside and find out what it looks like i guess one of the benefits of being platinum elite is you know being in something like this so here is a loom let's go and see what it looks like there's a control, master control, which you can turn it on and turn it off. And next to that, there is toilet. There is a separate toilet and then the shower room. And then I can open it. Just like any like Japanese or even like a Korean one, there's a bidet, which is nice, really nice ways to, you know, it's uh, pretty much like typical in like a lot of restaurants. But there's a control for turning on and off. And then if you never used a bidet before, it's pretty nice. You can use it to control, you know, um, your, you know, to clean up afterward. And then, but there is a toilet paper if you're not comfortable using it or want to clean it up further. Um, on my right, you can see there is a clothes hanger, and then there is a way you can, you know, the uh, to cl clean your clothes. And then um, here is a. Where, uh, like rubbing coals or whatever. There is a safety box, safe box, and then there is a sleeper, and then further clean for your clothes, I guess, right? Fabric spray. So then there is a new, really nice concept. I mean, I've seen something like this in this W hotel where there is not much a separation between. Uh, your bedroom and then bathroom, which is you think it might be a little weird, but I think this is very really like very contemporary style. And then you can see that there is a you know for your hand soap, and then there is a glass cup for um, your you know any for like you know toothbrush or whatever, and all the basic amenity, and some towels and hair dryer and trash can, and there is a horse the. Uh, Emitter, and if I turn right, there is a temperature control. It's set to twenty-two degrees Celsius, and then there is a way you can even control further, like for your vanity. That's for this, and then shower, and then four meter, which is nice, I guess. Oh, there's a one meter in the back, so it's not the main this meter you're seeing, but there's a one right there. You can see what's happening there. Now if I turn on the right side, that's where the shower is. So it's separated from the toilet. I think it's pretty nice. So you don't have to worry about you making a lot of splash. So it's keep it separate. Now let's turn right. And then you see that this is some kind of humidifier, which is to clean up the your air. And here's my bed. And then you can see the light. One interesting thing I do find is there is a JBL like a photo speaker. I wonder if some is there meant to use it or why if somebody take it. But anyway, there's a way you can control the light. This one controls the ambient light, which is taking the the light above and then night. Yeah, not sure what this one does, but the reading light. Yeah, there's one at the top. Uh, you know you can see it. There you go. So let me turn to the right. You can see the television. Pretty interesting. I like how the uh, you know Marriott set itself with all the great you know interesting videos. It's pretty nice. There's a an espresso machine, and then the water, from com complimentary water. So you can use to make the coffee or even the tea. Now. There's a sofa, which is like, you know, kind of attached to your bed. And there's a curtain, which you kind of can see there is, you know, like you can see it. It's just not much of that overview, you know. I always wish that there's like Dr. Murray there, even though I got upgraded. It's pretty, like, you know, bleak view. I can see the people walking around. So, here is the uh, electrical outlet. There's additional some USB action sofa, so they kind of turn on 
offer so far. And then the light is very uh, contemporary, interesting looking. And uh, there's more light control. Sometimes I wonder if this is really the necessary, you know? But um, there's a very analog looking clock. Now let's go in, let's turn around and just see what it looks like. So this is kind of what it looks like over, overall. You know, I will zoom out a little bit. So you can see it's very contemporary looking, but nothing special. Um, again, this is a gray loom, so this is kind of what it looks like. So laundry is nothing special. It's just uh, like any cool laundry. Um, I guess you need 100 yen um, for 30 minutes. And then, so I think it's not too expensive. For, I guess for the washer, it's a 300 yen for 30 minutes or whatever. So it's very reasonable, but nothing special. I guess there's no coin dispenser or anything special. So, what does this one say? Yeah, just the instruction for the next person. So, it's fair. So, it looks like this is a fitness center. We have a restroom next to it. So, pretty convenient. Let's go check it out. Okay, so I'm gonna pull. Let's see what is in there. So, there are some cardio machines, I guess. Uh, um, some climbing, stepping machine, and then three different um, the dread treadmill machines, and then there is some basic uh, dumbbells to work out. So it's pretty basic, no special equipment, um, but the machine itself from the Matrix is not from the Lifetime one, so it has all the things you need, and it's in Japanese, I guess. So, but it's a in this, in this machine, so so there's yoga ball, and looks like there's water and towel. So it looks like it has all the basic stuff, but nothing special, I guess. Yeah, that looks like a pretty much it.